Welcome back, all you clever people. This is part one of a two-part tutorial on how to make an LED-style bar graph in HitFilm. In this video, I'll walk you through the basic bar graph setup, and in part two, I'll show you how to drive the animation of the bars with a sound file in both HitFilm Express and Pro. So let's go. For this demo, I'm going to build everything based on a standard 1080p composite shot. However, the same principles will apply to any other dimensions that you might want to use. To start, let's make the space around the bars. In a new composite shot, add a plane. The color doesn't really matter, so I'll just use white. Then drop the grid effect onto it. For my sample, I set the border radius property to 31, the color to black, 0.1's position to minus 930 on X and minus 510 on Y, and 0.2 to minus 775 on X and 510 on Y. This made a black frame with 12 spaces for the light bars to appear. For more or fewer spaces, change the X value on 0.2. You could also set 0.2's Y value to zero, which would give you double rows of bars. Anyway, play with this until you like the layout, then export a PNG image and bring this image back into HitFilm. Using an image instead of a composite shot will speed things up a little. Next, we'll make the base color scheme for the bars. Make a new composite shot, add the plane you made earlier, and rename it red. Add the fill color effect, crank the blend amount up to 100%, and set the fill color to 72 for red and 0 for green and blue. You'll see later why we're using this specific color setup. Duplicate this plane, rename the copy to yellow, and change the fill color so red and green are 72 and blue is 0. Duplicate it again, change the name to green, and make the appropriate change to the fill color. Now drop in the mask image and move the planes on the x axis until the edges are hidden by the mask and the color bars are set the way you like. Once you're done, remove the mask from this comp. Export a PNG of the finished color bars, and then bring that image back into HitFilm. Make another composite shot named Animated Bands. This is where we'll set the movement of the bar animation, and for now we'll animate the bar manually. As I said earlier, we'll cover animation based on a sound file in part 2, but you still need the next few steps for the automated version, so don't take off just yet. Start by dropping in your handy dandy plane, and setting keyframes on its position, so that it slides left and right to create the basic movement you want for your light bars. For this demo, I'll start with the plane a little to the left, and then activate keyframes for position. I'll move ahead 10 frames by pressing Shift period, then slide the plane pretty far to the left. Moving ahead 2 frames, I'll move it back to the right, but not as far as I did the first time. Jumping ahead another 10 frames, I'll pull it back to the left. To save time, I'll take these keyframes, press Command C or Control C on Windows to copy them, then paste those keyframes in a continuous pattern for the rest of my shot. Obviously, this movement won't exactly match the placement of our light bars, so that's what we'll take care of next. Above this plane, add a grade layer, then drop the mosaic effect onto it. Set horizontal blocks to the number of light bar spaces in the mask you made at the beginning. In my case, that's 12. And just to ensure those blocks are solid, we'll set vertical blocks to 1. Scrubbing through the shot, you can see how the mosaic effect is dividing our plane's smooth movement into segments. However, sometimes those segments are semi-transparent. To fix this, add the Crush Blacks and Whites Alpha effect after mosaic, and set the opaque value to 0 0.001. This will ensure that all partially transparent blocks become fully opaque. Now we use this to fiddle with our color bands. Start by hiding the animated plane, then adding a grade layer to the top of the stack, naming this one Bar Matte. Above that, drop the color band image we saved earlier, and add the Set Matte effect to it, pointing to the Bar Matte layer as the source. Finally, add the hue, saturation, and lightness effect of this image, 
setting the master lightness to 40, which brightens up all the colors to their full strength, which gives us this. Finally, it's time to assemble all the pieces. Make a new composite shot. Add the color band image first, then the animated bands comp above it, and finally the bar mask image. To give the impression that the lights are actually glowing, add the light wrap effect to the mask layer. Setting animated bands as the source layer and increasing the radius. That wraps up the basic animated light bar setup. At this point, changing the bar animation is simply a matter of setting new keyframes on the animated plane in the animated bands composite shot. For simple shots, animating the bar movement manually should be fairly easy. If you want to drive the bar using a sound file, be sure to check out part two, where I'll cover techniques for both HitFilm Pro and Express. Testing one, two, three. Audio meters and HitFilm are go. Until next time, clever bar line. Uh, line dance. Uh, uh, tagline. Tagline.